I'm back. <laughs> so let's talk about training your dog because these things matter. I've seen a lot of well-intentioned, well-meaning advice being given out, but it's just wrong. And so I'm back. <laughs> long dogs and humans cohabitate this planet a dog is never ever gonna think and act like a fish a bird or a human it's always gonna think and act like a dog so you gotta communicate to it in a language that the dog inherently understands and that's what we specialize in at Alpha and Omega if you want to teach your dog something the dog needs to be paying attention if the dog isn't paying attention you can't teach it nothing if the dog doesn't respect your leadership position, you got nothing coming because the dog doesn't have to listen to you. You're not the boss of your dog. The dog is the boss of you. So those are the first two things that you, you have to overcome when you set out to train your dog. The dog has to respect your leadership position and the dog needs to be paying attention regardless of the distractions. A distraction is a distraction is a distraction. It doesn't matter what the distraction is. As a leader, you should never be fighting for your dog's attention. The dog needs to keep one eye and one ear on you at all times, period. It doesn't matter what the distraction is. There's some specific qualities that all dogs need to exhibit when we're talking about obedience. They need to show self-restraint, impulse control, understanding and respect for the boundary that you set and respect for your leadership position. That's it. Then there's some basic functioning commands that all dogs need to follow. Heel, sit, down, stay, come, drop it or leave it. Go to your spotter place, off and quiet. Those are the functioning commands that's for the health and well-being of our dogs. That's it. To do those things, we're not going to be feeding treats and clicking clickers and look at me and doing all that cutesy stuff. But on the other end of the training spectrum, we're not going to do the Caesar Milan either, making funny noises and faces and posturing, intimidating the dog. No one likes a bully. Not even our dogs. We don't want our dogs to be scared of us. We just need them to pay attention and respect your leadership position. So if you can accomplish that, you're well on your way to being able to lay a foundation for a well-behaved, obedient, psychologically sound, happy, healthy, and safe dog. That's what we teach. Let's talk about it. Because these things matter.